And welcome, Parks, to yet another match play. Playing the games. And welcome to. Let's play Jack and Daxter. Now, this let's play, because this, this, this is like a filler trilogy of let's plays. This one I'm going to be doing Jack 1, for Jack and Daxter. I will be also doing Jack 2 and Jack 3. Let's start with Jack 1. My personal favourite of the series. So the computer entertainment you represents. A loading screen, that's what it presents. Come on. I've missed this. Brand new game. Create save data, yes. Now, if I've done this right, it should come up with my trophies when I get them as well. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my, father, that my father's defense. father's failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they game. house eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not yeah, remember. The plants have asked that. the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even, Even the rocks do not, do not recall. recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answer rests on the shoulders, shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search, search for truth, and rejecting of my, my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? Oh, this game. I'm only the master of green and gold, one of the wisest men on the planet. So it so seems, seems the not answer with, begins not with, with careful, careful research or sensible thinking. No. Nay, as with, as with many of these mysteries. mysteries, it begins with what is more like of, of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old Green Stuff told us not to come here. doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It's sure to look friendly. <clears throat> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crust? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been a real loser. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Okay, 
I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark ego. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna have me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the free sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the fire canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it. If you had a zoomer, you could put the heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. I bet we could. Before you do we anything did. else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that duck gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Oh, fair enough. This is the Tyrion Island. I don't miss it. The device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Okay. Oh, the memories of this game. I think this is one of my first PS2 games. These floating egg shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. I thought I can't. Was it my first PS2 game? Might be. I think it was one in the first I got. on the moonlight. You always get one of these like uh celebratory stances from Jack and Dax so we can get a pass off. I knew that. 
Why do you always show off and go off the cross and seems to become stupid? There's the steps. I'm going to show you something now, folks, that you should definitely not attempt. This thing scared the crap out of me when I was younger. This is what happens when you try something too far out of our. How about the island? I think it's possible. It looks quite close to that. Here it comes. That can scare the crap out of me. That was the look shot. That's what happens when you go to areas you're not supposed to go to. Or basically too far into the water. I'll just show you that as well. I didn't know. But yeah, seriously, don't go to, don't go deep in the water. You die. And you know you can't kill it. Come on. Oh, Samus. That's the first time I've done that. Normally I have to go all the way to the vent. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the blue cluster. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. What you're normally supposed to do is get the vent, but if you're quick like I was there, you can just use the clusters that you have. Open it says me. Trophy number one. Point out that everything else. Is so the first time we've seen it, they've said something. We've seen that already in the boxes, well before that, and they've already just put, put, pointed it out now. But yeah, the green is basically health. Fifty goes up. Fifty out of fifty, and this is the last power cell. To activate these, and it's time to go back. Good training, boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And no problem, we got the real thing, Jack. We'd love to stay in chat, Big Ray, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out while you're here. Follow the maps, they take you right there. No. Anyway folks, this has been the end of the first part of Let's Play Jeff and Daxter, Freakist Legacy, Abingham Games. Thank you for watching.